got this connector here, just like I did this one. Actually, let me pull this off here. See how this thing works is your wire goes right through there and then you tighten this screw down on it. I should show you with this one. Wire goes right through there, your bare wire, and then this clamps down on it. It's a flathead, small flathead. So now I'll just put this wire make it fit. All right, this is how these things are gonna go in there. So the, uh, here in Singapore, and I think in the UK too, England, uh, this uh, yellow and green is the ground. So definitely here, and then, uh, so these two are live, brown and blue is live. So the ground's gonna go up here. I'll show you how to do it. What I like to do is pull these things out, and then just do them separately like this. So what I'll do too is I'll twist this wire around real good and then just stick it through there. Make sure that's backed out as much as you need. The ground wire here. Get it in there. Like that. Tighten it up with a flat head. So I think it's just gonna go in here like this. And this, this little piece is gonna line up with that slot. Okay, it's actually gonna kind of curve around here like that. I'll tighten these other ones up the same way. This does, see that's gonna you want this off of there. It's gonna it's gonna clamp around around that. Keeps your wire from, keeps it from pulling out of there. You know, if it's pressure pulled on that, it's clamping that down. That way you don't get any wires pulled through the fire. This over it, like that, and we'll screw it in from this side. See, now they can't pull through. I'm going to tighten it just a little bit more, adjust these things, but you see they can't pull out now. Okay, now I've got this thing where I want it, right? Just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this cover back on. Screw it in right there. It's actually a pretty cool setup. It's pretty good. There we go. 